Hello everybody and welcome back to Coder. We're gonna hop right back in. Sorry for the delay, it's been so long. Hopefully things will be good and worked out now and please let me know how the audio is in this one because I had to do some shenanigans to get it to work. But thank you all for your patience. I really do appreciate it. And we're gonna hop right back into the game without further ado. Hey there, what can I do for you? Um, a little bit? I wanna talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subject's closed, as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. <laughs> something else you need? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, have it your way. Okay, so I think I actually did talk to everybody. And I think I did talk to Bastula as well. Now I just have to... So, what do we have? We need... Oh, right. I need... I should probably go give that to the guy really quick. Hmm. I did find several apprentice type people. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go give the, um... Add... Uh, sure. Why not? I was like, hello? I don't know. Ni bobo ji mata, ni punna ji. Dolpi kik nyunyan. Uh, that's right. Rundi hadonga kuhunga bi. Wana kunle. Who's Kandaris Ordo? This is so exciting! I love space and Star Wars! Tung ting ta chun kun mek muli rabest. Uh, Kandaris? Isn't he that Mandalorian that we're- Oh, that's right! It works for Davik! Is he gonna join us now? Oh, that's right. The mouth movements don't match, match up with the sounds coming out. You've said that twice now, guy. Um, uh, well, we'll think about it. Jikin Lord Jawata Uma Kava Bulpa Mulji Guman. Thanks, guy. First, I had to go deliver some rat, rat ghoul serum. Oh, yeah, I'm dual wielding blades now, apparently. Um, I just need to, whew, just need to get out of here. What's that? Anything? No? A bag? Did I already look at this? Okay. This will be the entire coder session. Hey, you know what? I'm working on it. Hey, uh, Karth, how's it going? Yes, what's on your mind? Never mind. You got it. Hey, Bastila, how's it going? Nope, I wanna, I wanna. How can I help? The surface of Terrace is covered with an urban skyscraper. Its glittering spires belie the decay that lies in its lower reaches, however. Beyond that, there is little else I can tell you. Then I suggest okay. you move on. You're kind of useless, aren't you? Where's the doctor at? Equipment Emporium. There's the clinic. Down here, right? I, did I look at the map right? Because for some reason, I read this map really weird sometimes. Don't worry about it, guys. I have Bastula with me, but nobody can tell. We disguised her perfectly. 
Vassal, I was wondering. Whoa! How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi? Or were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? No, I was conscious. But my force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the end of Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that part. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait. Let me get this straight. You lost your life. He's laughing at her. <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? <laughs> uh, of all the Jedi in the galaxy, why do we get one who's absent? She's she's not saying something else. She like lost. She maybe lost it for a reason or something. Of all the Jedi in the galaxy, why do we get one who's absent-minded? <laughs> laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It, it must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. <laughs> Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history text. <laughs> legend card. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Oh, <laughs> she's embarrassed. Oh my gosh. Um. So far I like Karth's voice, so he's coming with us. I figured even Bachelor might have things to say as well. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical? I have the serum. You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, wait. I don't really want to know. Can... Can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there's enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. There you go. Hmm, let me see. I hope I got enough. I hope I don't have to, like, get it. Yeah, get more of it. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Thank you! Or I'll put a smoking blaster hole right but There is no middle ground in this game. Either you're a saint or you're like a super villain right from the start. Uh, thank you. I appreciate everything you've done. There are many who would have sold the serum to the crime lord Davik for a much higher sum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Mm. I'll be going. And good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Yay! Light side point game! How do I get the droid? How do you do that? Because I can't do it yet. You blew it! If you'd brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. But no. Hey, I should probably let the medical guy know that this guy is like a spy. R2 and C3PO, Gertrude. I don't know. Those two would just t chatter and natter, and it would just be like, ah, oh, C3PO, shut up! <laughs> That's how it goes, basically. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh. Okay, let's go meet with him. Wait, oh god, um... Where am I going? I'm going to the cantina. Where is the cantina? Uh-oh. Is it the upstairs one or the downstairs one? Upper city apartment. Upper city cantina. Okay. Over there. On the opposite end. We'll go try the upper city cantina, I guess. Can I just... Yeah, I can just go in. It's been a while since I've played, too. <laughs> Christia. Oh, hey, guy. How's it going? I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. 
That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Uh, what are you talking about? My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. Uh, why are you telling me this? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you Really? You're gonna pick somebody who's good at racing? I'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith. What? Those have exactly no correlation whatsoever. You're telling what? You will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. You what? You're just telling me this? You're just telling me to go steal Sith codes? What? Why should I help you? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship. Oh my gosh, up. why? Couldn't you steal us something a little less, like, likely to be tracked? How are you gonna manage that? Uh-uh, not yet. Uh-uh-uh! First, you bring me the launch codes. <laughs> then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. What? You want me to break into a Sith base and run out of it with launch codes? Possibly with people hot on my heels and then just trust you to like hop us onto a ship and off the planet How am I supposed to get inside the military base getting in won't be easy The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech Oh, yeah, this is where I get my astromech for you I know just the place to get a droid like that Davik was having one cusp. We're just really gonna Whip the rug out from under Davik. She'll sell you the droid then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Oh! Uh, why don't you do this yourself? Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Okay, Candras, you've got yourself a deal. Deception from him, which is surprising. Oh! This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to you are useful to have around. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. All right, time to go get my droid. I don't think is Coder available on Xbox. It might be. I don't know. It's a freaking old game, like the original Xbox, maybe. Uh, it wasn't you. Nope, it was the other lady, the Leg lady. Purchasing a droid. Where? Clinic. Upper city. I think I need to go to the other upper city segment. Oh. Oh. Are we... Well, freaking, where's... What? Where did we leave Clark... Carp, are you serious? Are you seriously? Really? <laughs> if your teammates fall behind, it won't let you go until you pick them up? It's like, Carp, Carp, stop, stop staring at shop windows. Please hurry up. We got places to go. Sith base, lower city, droids by Janice. Bastila, did you ever think about joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? But would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging his feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. Oh-ho! 
What did they see exactly? There's something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post. I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you, but the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians, but you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. We have no idea how it would have, how it would have been, though. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would speak in Mandalorian. I, I think we're done. Let's just get back to the task. Ah, interesting. And every single one of them is speaking Mandalorian. Ha ha. Karth. Karth's having some issues. Karth definitely has personal space issues. <laughs> I know! I wish you could, like, put your weapons away, but I don't think it's possible. Oh, wait. Okay. Alright, no, this is good. This is where we want to be. Hello, friend. Hello. Hachu Apanki. Jishawa Ani. Yeah. Mokao Danyafoki. Chachiska Two thousand credits. Bano Oto. Uh. I could try to persuade. Um, I can't afford that. Bonana kichu, kin ba mule ra. I'll pass. Chopa chawi ti chok twis yun ku hakuji kapa. Uh, I have to get money. Run di i chawa tong bol. What is Right, Grammy, how many more would have died if they had waited? I mean, that's the thing. If the Republic hadn't done anything, there would have been, like, mass hysteria, revolts, and all that. You know what I mean? <gasps> I have a double-bladed lightsaber! Oh, no, that's what she has, right? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Um... No, wait, 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 wait. Um Shoot. Um can I Oh, I can level her up. Oh she, oh she, she's got a high dexterity and a charisma apparently. Sure, have another dexterity point. Awareness treat injury. Sure. Ooh, using a force power requires force points. Your light and dark side rating affects the force point cost of some powers. The further you stray to the dark side, the more expensive light side powers become, and the less expensive dark side powers become, and vice versa. Power heals all party members. Wait, no. The Jedi is temporarily granted a plus two bonus to defense and all saving throws. The effect lasts for 20 seconds. Heals all party members. Ooh. Heals five vitality points plus one point for every char charisma modifier, wisdom modifier, and level of the force user. Okay. Those were the same D right, right. This is basically it's basically a D and D Star Wars. Like it's ba like it's just like a Star Wars skin for a D and D game. Uh, ooh, moves swiftly, pressing his or her body to the physical limit. Get cure? I don't think I can yet. She's not level six. This power shows a Jedi in the forest, absorbing first 15 points of damage from sonic, fire, cold, and electrical attacks. Damage over and above the first 15 points is suffered as normal. Effects last 120 seconds. Can't get that one yet. Ooh. <laughs> you 
see the D20. My gosh, it's hilarious. Right, it's like, it, exactly. It's basically a Star Wars tabletop copy and pasted into a game. It's exactly what it is. Ooh, the saving throws of the Jedi on all party members by two points. Hmm. That one seems okay. Did it not fit? Oh, what? Okay. Um. Oh. So she already has that one. Oh. What? What the heck? Now she's level six. Jack's voice actor's in this again? She gets around. That's cool. Um. Yay! Cool. Uh, sure. Add that fee. Cure, yes. Right, add power. Okay, jeez, now we're done. I'm here. I don't know how to make that money that many monies. How do I equip items? Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. Okay. Does she not have her stuff equipped? Um... Oh. Oh, okay. She, she can't- she can only wear, like, clothes. Oh god, what can she even wear? Guess I have to give her the lightsaber. <laughs> Bummer. Yes, I can buy a lightsaber later. Okay, I really, I'm just, wow. Ooh, look at her though. She looks really, she's just running around carrying a lightsaber. What the heck? Hachu a funky. Look how done. Wait, oh crap. I meant to. Hmm. So, so. So. Uh, do I have to sell? I'm gonna have to sell like everything. What the heck? Oh, wow. Um, what? Now that is, I mean, it is, right? Like, really, just, we're just, we don't have a Jedi, no, what are you talking about? She's just in the antiques. No, I don't want to join the arena. I'd rather, like, convince her with my dark side powers. No, oh, we're getting there. Oh my gosh, we're nearly there. Yay, we did it! Antique lightsaber, antique sword, antique blaster. She's into antiques while holding real swords. I mean... Okay. Uh... That price is outrageous. I'll give you half. Yes! Oh, okay, it's a deal. 
Yes! Uh, ah, yeah, add the droid. And, and, uh, okay, oh, hold on. Uh, remove you. And add you. <laughs> Heck yeah! Oh, I gotta level up the droid. Attributes. Wow, his intelligence is really, really high. Well, oh, we, well, uh, as I said, you can throw up the constitution a bit, but, yeah, let's just, yeah, yeah. I guess, what's, what's recommended? I don't know. Recommend, the dexterity? Eh. Constitution. Um, security and repair and computer use seems fair. Oh, okay. All right, then. These will be saved. Okay. Why does it make me do each level, like, each its, its own level each time? Wait. Okay. I don't know what I just did. I might have just accidentally skipped something on accident. Ooh. Hmm. Allows it to accommodate more specific upgrades. Okay. Oh, I can't get that one. How about that one? Nope. Only when I'm level 6. Ability to integrate blasters into its weapon system. Special universal ports allow internal placement of most models of blaster pistol. Really? Um. Okay, I guess if you can have blaster pistols. Oh, no. Uh, let's, let's add that feat. Okay. La la la. Skills. Yeah, remaining points. Oopsie daisy. Hmm. Am I sure I'm awake, Alderath? You know, it's always constantly in question. Recommended. Alright, I like that recommendation. Feats. Okay, recommended feats. Okay, improved caution. I like that. That's fine. Reduces the attack penalty of a character wielding a double-bladed weapon or two weapons. What? He can't use a two-handed I'm not gonna give my droid a two-handed weapon! Whatever. Oh, oh no, wait, did it- I think it's recommend- it's recommending that one, isn't it? Yes. Okay, we'll add that feat. Sure. Uh, add feet. Oh no, okay. Oh no, that, that's, just, oh, that's just the one I had selected. Okay, I see. Okay. I think it would be hilarious to see this droid dual wield a sword. Like. Hi, little droid friend! I'm here. I am. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're adorable. You don't talk much, do you? Just chime in if you ever have any advice. Hold on. I'm gonna ask you some questions. You don't even know what I was gonna ask! <laughs> what did it say? Uh, okay. I always forget that you- I'm not- I'm still not used to the fact that you have to download games. I'm like, I bought the game. Now I can play it. And then I'm like, wait, no. I have to- The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. Right, though? Well, thank you all for joining me on this sort of random adventure and a like, gathering of more friends. We have lots of friends on this planet to meet and make and acquire. But uh, thank you all again for joining me. I do appreciate it. Once again, let me know uh, if the audio was okay or anything. Uh, um, I, can, I can do limited changes, but let me know what you think. And once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.